Hello everybody, my name is Michael, I'm running the Board Games Chronicle blog and today I would like to invite you to the second video where I'm discussing the fantastic game which Imperial Struggle is. You can find many articles about this game on my blog, link below uh, in the description of the video. Today I would like to focus on the full peace turn. So, uh, what we did in the uh, last episode was actually the setup and some explanation of the game mechanics and now we know that uh, British would probably focus on the debt and things connected to this so they will be spending pretty heavily and we have also uh, the French would, uh, who would probably would like to surprise uh, the opponent with an uh, event like uh, Austro-Spanish rivalry plus also some interesting uh, cards for for minister. Okay, first thing first, the initiative at the beginning of the game is with the hands of French and they have to choose actually who goes first. The points, victory points are 15, uh, both sides have zero treaty points, treaty points you can call them kind of a uh, wild cards, they can be used actually as any type of investment, economic, military or diplomacy. Debt is similar, but uh, with debt actually you have limit, it's 6 at this moment in time uh, and uh, there are some nasty events if you have more debt than your opponent. So let's say, for the sake of presentation, that the Fran uh, French decide to actually go first. Mm, they would like to use the opportunity of uh, odd number of the events, uh, the diplomacy major events and do some kind of, uh, let's say, uh, offense in, in uh, Europe. So let's say that they would like to start with this French investment. Yeah? We, we assign French investment, they can spend two dip, uh, four diplomatic points but before this, uh, if there is an event here, they would have to play event before this, they can actually also use the advantage one of the things which is very often forgotten is that you have advantage and when your opponent takes it from you on his turn you actually really regret that you didn't play it immediately it's not always a good idea to play it immediately but in this case i think it will be really really nice to actually exhaust advantage and put a conflict marker somewhere on the full market of the british uh, in in North America. Now, as you can see, it immediately took this uh, flag from the total number. Ah, sorry, I of course put this on the French. Sorry for this. Uh, it uh, immediately took the uh, this flag from the total number of the British, and and now it's actually French who will have advantage here. Uh, one more disclaimer: in this presentation, I am playing just to show you the mechanics, the strategies the insight how to play well and uh, what to look for will be in the next videos which will be more focused on on strategic approach so we actually played uh, this advantage and now um, we have four diplomatic points which will go definitely to europe uh, we have uh, cardinal ministers they can uh, add up to three diplomacy points if you control any of the spaces like Savoy, Sardinia, each prestige space in Spain and Austria. So for now we actually control one space in Austria so we would get plus one but let's say that we would like to spend two in Spain. Uh, this is good, this is one of the cheapest, uh, cheapest uh, prestige points, uh, prestige uh, spaces and as you can see prestige is always you move it up, two points, two VP. Two. This is kind of a, you can call it standard commodity, which always uh, gives you two points. Yeah, that way. Now, uh, first two points went here, and another two points will go for the fight for the um, Baltic trade. Let me flip it. Baltic trade is one of the best advantages. It reduces your debt by two. Very, very good. 
two points uh, economy um, uh, will go to the most contested market so actually to India and it will be West Bengal we put the French flag we immediately get silk it also goes against the British because they would get one point for this and we send it to the French play maybe. Uh, one more inf uh, one more information major actions can be split so for four points we could have two three four actions the minor actions cannot be split now it's time for the British to respond they think okay if I'm going to take now the diplomatic action I would probably uh, will not get the last one let's see what I have in hand mm, do I have some interesting uh, bonuses yeah I have this one so what I will do I will actually go on a kind of a heavy spending but <coughs> I will go with a economic heavy spending so the British, as we know, uh, can have additional uh, victory points uh, for East India Company, for textiles, silk, fruit, for trade, uh, for trade and rum. So textiles are actually here, and this is really good uh, idea to, to to move here. So they will actually take that tile with the four of. Uh, uh, major economic action points and two of the military. Two military will spend uh, on war, actually on a bonus war tile. We all, uh, as playing as British, I uh, usually uh, love to be pretty, pretty uh, well equipped in North America. Being prepared for what will come in 100 years, so American uh, Revolution and also in Spain. Uh, but let's start from the third theater we are buying the bonus war tile mm. hoped it will be better plus one point is the worst what we could get fine two military points spent now we have four economic and I will actually use some of my debt because I would like to use event next turn uh, those points will go to India India is very contested three VPs if you have two more flags than opponent so first of all we take this uh, important we just got the advantage we cannot use it that turn sent to Britishmen and now we we can't also move now to the next market because you cannot do daisy ch uh, daisy chains with 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 markets but what we can do um, we can actually go here to the cotton and this will be pretty pretty legit so we can take it too uh, at this point in time uh, the French are plus one on cotton we are plus two on spice mm, it seems that attacking the silk would be also beneficial so we will unflag it so remove flag and put ours British flag that would cost us as much as for that yeah. maybe it's not the most wise uh, uh, way to do it uh, uh, like this now but this is for the sake of a presentation silk goes now to the British so where we have it we have it here yeah so it goes to the British flag okay uh, British will also do one more thing they will show Bank of England flip and we actually will increase our debt limit by one good always good thing to do uh, let's mark that we did it actually we have something like this, okay, we can mark it like this. End of turn one, <coughs> round one. Now, we're coming back to French, they now think, okay, what we can do with our hand? And we have only austro spanish rivalry as as uh, important event, but you know, we have still this too. So even if we play now the diplomatic action and then the British will play diplomatic action, we can use this event in order <coughs> to actually flip some 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 um, spaces in Europe. So what French will do? We'll take that one tile, 
I will play event. In order to play event, we'll also show the card governance. Oh, sorry, I will not play event now. It's too early, but I will use cardinals. Yeah, we'll leave the event for for the next turn when inevitably British will actually also the event. So <coughs> what we do? We have free thanks to having um actually uh, was one prestige space in Spain plus also in Austria we would have plus two so it's in total five a lot fantastic uh, we need to mark that this is exhausted you can use those actually to mark this is exhausted yes okay having five points we can do a lot of in Europe <coughs> first of all we can take Prussia and we can actually win for time being the Baltic trade. We have still three, and those three. Actually, we can use some debt. Yes, mm, we can start preparing for war. We can take this as French, and we can take German states as French. That means actually spending one more debt. Now the British are really worried because the France expanded enormously in Europe. They need to react, so they play the only major action which is still left, and they will actually use uh, their tax reform. So what they have to do? First of all, they announce this event. This event actually is an economic event, but thanks to the Bank of England, they can play it. Okay, so I exhaust second part of the Ministry card and what uh, this event says. So first of all, reduce your debt by two. Fantastic. This is really important for us. The second part, uh, reduce your debt by additional one. So we actually get three points out of this event. Make sure that you move it out of the game. Uh, it is four points. Remove flag and flip with your. So this is four points. <coughs> Other than that, um, it's uh, it's it, it's good not to allow French too much leeway in the war. So let's use. We have one point left. So let's use this one point plus one point from that. To, to go for Jacobits and uh, also we can use two more points no mm, we we'll live like this now we have two economic points two economic points will go to India definitely would like to focus here while we are losing in, 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 in um, Europe and then uh, we have still possibility to do the military upgrade, as you can see those arrows. And military upgrade means that we can choose one of the basic war tiles and actually change it. Uh, you, you draw a new war tile and, and you can change, uh, choose uh, one of them. So let's see here, military upgrade. So we can unflag and we can remove squadron on fort. I doubt there will be many squadrons and zero forts in Europe, so we actually uh, get rid of this. I will return to deck and leave this unflag. Unflag could be really painful uh, for 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 when when uh, used well. Okay, so what will French will do? Of course, play another event. So here it is, and French shows. Now Astro Spanish rivalry, yeah. They need to show that they have the uh, governance. Yep, yeah, we have it. And what this event does? Uh, we look at the bottom, so uh, the part for France. Charles VI invests in the Netherlands. Unflag a space in the Dutch Republic. So we will un unflag this prestige space. It's cost normally free. It's really really mm -hmm. uh, expensive to normally remove and then we can use two uh, points in India 
uh, uh, this will be uh, diplomacy or economic and you see guys I completely forgot that this event does not give you diplomatic points in Europe but actually in India I was too focused on, on explaining the things but fine uh, so uh, we have two diplomatic points in India and you know what we will take some local alliance uh, let me just see which one mm. this that one is the best one mm. it allows you to place a conflict marker on any market in India so as French we take this and we actually send it to French right. let's see what we have today okay we have this we have this okay and uh, we don't have it anymore so it's returned to map okay so once we did the event we remove it out of play and it is time for France actions. Uh, first we will do the minor action, the minor military action with two military points plus one dead. I will use a Jacobite uprising and we'll use this first uh, possibility so once per turn you may use military points to shift spaces in Scotland and Ireland so let me use it here and for three points I will shift prestige space in Ireland for three uh, economy points uh, the French would like to contest the grip of British on the market, yeah, as you can see all three commodities are now in the hands of British so let's target the cotton again using uh, one dead they will take over the cotton market here West Bengal market this is three plus one from dead which is uh, 4 and it allows us to shift so unflag for 2 and flag for 2 immediately that silk goes from the British hands into the hands of French ok let me just see which is silk this one is silk ok so that's all for the French now we will move the British so British around three before moving on I need to correct my mistake from the previous round so they have like three more dead not two but five uh, this was my mistake when I was playing the event so let's see what we have now we don't have any more events we have two major military actions and two major economy actions if we look at the war display uh, the British feel that they could use some 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 more um, bonus war ties and they should also move their fleet so they will go for the military major action with uh, first two points they will move their fleet uh, they will move the fleet uh, to the uh, North America there will be a war there in a moment so they won't have a good, a pos good position there uh, so we deploy to North America uh, to Gulf of Maine so here uh, from here they have access to Halifax and also to this fish from the next turn to this fish they cannot uh, flag it now you can flag the market if you had connection to other market uh, to the fleet to the fort uh, at the beginning of the turn and they will send the second fleet uh, it would make sense to send it to, uh, to Europe uh, if the situation was better it is not so good so, so we will not send it there but if you look into India that market is now isolated here which means it can be easily unflagged 
and British would like to, 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 to uh, avoid it. There are two ways to do it, to put fleet here or to flag this market here. They will probably uh, flag this market to, to achieve it, but they could also use the fleet. So let me send their second fleet also to North America. Okay. And now we will use uh, this two economy points, minor plus one debt to flag the market here. Uh, okay, uh, we have still two more uh, military points on British. I should use them before flagging this market here. So let me use it for a bonus war tile and it will go to Spain. Okay. Why Spain? We are okay with losing in Central Europe and French taking some of the uh, uh, Spanish territories, so we can actually take them back in this war. And uh, when you take the territory from Spanish, y uh, the opponent gets a free shift in Spain. But if you take territory from your opponent, uh, such shift in Spain is not allowed. Yeah, and this it's safe. Okay, now let's move to French. They will, as a fourth uh, action, use the major military. They would like to utilize the, uh, their ministry card. Sorry, not here. The Jacobit uprising. So the second part of the text says, once per turn, on a different action round, you may spend three military points to score one VP maximum four for each French flag such space yeah, and also Jacobite victory. So in previous turn, uh, in previous round, uh, we used the first uh, ca uh, capability of this ca ministry card and now we will be using the second one. So we are spending three from those four and thanks to this French will score two victory points. Uh, what is else? Uh, they have still one uh, point, one military point left, and with one dead, they can use it for, uh, to buy a bonus for time. Uh, they are a bit worried uh, about the situation in North America, so they will buy a bonus for tile there. It's a major action, so we can still do some more moves. So with one more point of that, that fleet of French will be deployed to North America. Uh, it will be deployed to Cabot Strait. Yeah, this is a place which is still available. We could potentially also move uh, to the places occupied now by the British, and if you go to the player mate, you will see a uh, player mate, you will see the deploying squadron could cost one, two, or three. It costs you one if you are deploying to a space which is empty. So what I just did from navy box to this space, or from this space to this space, it also would also cost one. If I uh, will be moving from uh, the place on the map not in navy box and displacing the enemy squadron, it would cost me two. If I will be moving from navy box to a place where uh, there is an enemy squadron and displacing it, uh, it would cost me three. Okay, so uh, that was uh, for French and uh, they have now a nice advantage in India, if I remember correctly. Yes, so they will use it. They can place a conflict marker and we would like to place it on cotton to make sure that we will take over this commodity. And with two uh, uh, diplomacy points, 
uh, I was tempted to, 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 to flag one more space here to get one more victory point but uh, we'll go rather for, for uh, some other place uh, connected to war uh, let it be some of the places in uh, Europe mm, uh, Sardinia and uh, Savoy and Sardinia are places which in the long run uh, are needed for those advantages here so I will take one of them it will also uh, give me points as a French to, to, to the war I think that is all for French fourth turn it's time for the last move of the British they will go of course with one of the major economy actions they will choose the one with the military points as a minor so the minor action uh, uh, will be uh, using one debt so it in essence three military points and uh, they will be taking over the Halifax fort The forts are interesting. Um, they contribute strength to the uh, to wars. As you can see, Halifax contributes to all four wars. They cannot be unflagged by the opponent, but they can be damaged during the war, and then such a damaged for fort can be taken over by the opponent. If you go to the player map, you will see. Uh, yes. Uh, that you can repair or seize damaged fort and to repair it costs uh, one less than the normal price so Halifax would cost two for British to repair but if it's damaged French could take it over for four of course they need to have connection to this from for example those fishes okay so the British took fort with a minor action now with the major actions uh, they will have a look uh, what's the situation on the economic market but also uh, they will have a look at uh, awards you can see that they do not have India award at this moment in time because they do not have two more than French this small red two means that you need to have two more um, places two more spaces in the in the region than your opponent so they will definitely invest those four economy points into into India uh, they are thinking about doing something about cotton and uh, one of the best moves would be uh, here in West Bengal they can uh, shift it so unflag and flag it that gives them the advantage needed for award but that also zeroes the cotton so the, the French will not have this possibility to, 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 to score for this and French will also lose mm, this advantage the silk Sends to this advantage was uh, changing hands pretty often during this game okay that concludes the rounds now <coughs> we need to look uh, before scoring the regions and scoring uh, the commodities at so-called other powers in this case the other power will be East, East India Company uh, it should be uh, shown to the opponent during uh, during the rounds so let us assume that during the last round the British uh, unflagged it so the East India Company will give points one victory points for uh, those commodities textile, silk, fruit, fur trade and rum let me just unflip it because it's easier to read so we have textiles as a British so that will mean one victory point to them uh, there are no other mm, mm, actions from those minister cards which British can do at the end of the turn and there are no actions for French too so we can just move to the scoring I will go region by region I will start from from Europe in Europe we can see that the French has advantage 10 to 4 
and they have uh, they are scoring two victory points for this. Let me zoom so we can clearly see it here. Yeah. Like this. So it's two victory points for them for award, and they have also advantage in prestige. So this is additional two victory points. So four points net. It jumps then to twenty. Now we are moving to North America. There the advantage and one point will go to the British. Let me just in the meantime look into into the Caribbean. Nobody will win it. So we remember one point for the British from North America. Okay, let's cross here. And in India, these are the British who will take the big prize, so three victory points. Now, as for the commodities, the tobacco is won by the British and the spice. It's important uh, it is important to do it in the order. So as you can see here, the first commodity is spice, the second commodity in the order is tobacco, and the third one is cotton. Why is it important to do it in the uh, order? Because uh, the spice is decreasing the debt by one, while tobacco is increasing. And the British are at the verge at the limit, at the debt limit. So if they have to incur one debt, they would lose one victory point. But it will not happen because the spice will reduce it and then the tobacco will increase it. And on top of this, they will get like one plus three, four victory points. One, two, three, four. So the turn will and we valid by British. That will automatically mean that the initiative will uh, flip to them. But before this, uh, before using the initiative for the next peace turn, there will be a war, war of Spanish succession for which uh, uh, the both sides are already prepared. And that war will be part three of this how to play imperial strug the struggle main topic. For today, I would like to thank you very much uh, for your patience, for your attention. I hope you like it. Uh, please uh, comment uh, what would you like to see more. The next part will be uh, focusing on a war turn, but maybe there are some specific topic you would like me to discuss. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, give it a like. If you'd like to be uh, up to date uh, with further how to play, please subscribe. Thank you very much and bye for today.